Hey folks and beautiful good day from Hamburg Airport. Believe it or not, but today is the day as I'm starting with my journey through Europe, um, which is taking like more or less one week, covering the beautiful countries of, for example, Greece, Spain, Italy, but also Norway, Sweden and Poland. Anyway, today's flight will be a Condor flight operated by a Boeing 757-300 all the way to Corfu from this beautiful city of Hamburg. So thank you guys for coming along to today's trip report and let's head right inside the terminal building and yeah let's see if the terminal is as crowded as I actually expect it to be thanks to holidays. For those of you who are still confused, yes, I am going to take seven flights on six different airlines within nine days and 85.714% of the flights will be covered in a trip report. Why do I leave out one flight? Well, you will receive the answer in the next video. But let's get back to business. Those of you who want to get to Hamburg airport on a budget can take a local train leaving every few minutes from Hamburg's main station. The ride costs just a few bucks and takes roughly 30 minutes. The airport itself was opened back in 1911 and is named after the former German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt, who sadly passed away in 2015. In my eyes, he was not only a decent Chancellor, but also a great and authentic personality. But I don't want to get too much into politics in this video. Today I will be on board Condor flight DE1632 which is leaving from gate C08 at 3 p.m. and the check-in should be located at Concourse 2. Well, as expected, the terminal is more than just crowded and the Condor check-in desks do actually have the longest queue, um, which is quite unfortunate. However, luckily I already checked in online yesterday, so I do not need to stand in this queue in order to wait for the check-in. Lucky me. There are many self-check-in machines spread over the entire terminal. Condor, however, does not support them here in Hamburg. Well, I think I've shown you guys enough of Terminal 1, so let's finally head through the security control, which is actually not as full as I expected it to be. Maybe the waiting time is like around 15 or 20 minutes? Let's find out. Wow, I actually made it through the security control within more or less five minutes, which is absolutely amazing having in mind um, how crowded the check-in area was. However, um, should be all set now, so let's finally head to today's gate, which just changed to A41, if I recall correctly. The airport offers many shops and restaurants once you made it through the security control. Do you guys actually buy things in these duty-free shops? Let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, finally made it to today's gate A41 and I actually do have a great view on today's Boeing 757-300 from here, which is also known as the flying pencil as you probably know because it's like pretty long and pretty narrow. However, um, boarding has already started, so yeah, let's finally head inside the aircraft. I really can't wait to show you guys the cabin interior and of course I also can't wait to finally land in Corfu and to enjoy my very first Mythos beer this evening. One thing that I just realized is that Condor provides complimentary newspapers and magazines to their customers. Well, at least this applies to today's flight as I've never seen that before on any other Condor short haul flight yet. I'm just so excited to finally fly a Boeing 757, which is kind of rare in Europe these days, as you guys probably already know. Moin, Moin, keine Fluggäste, hier spricht der Kapitän. Mein Name ist Benjamin Schmuder, zusammen mit meinem Kollegen hier im Cockpit, Herrn Christian Stahl, werden wir den Flug nach Corfu heute durchführen. Ich werde derjenige sein, der Sie hinfliegt und mich auch auf dem Reiseflug nochmal bei Ihnen melden, zur Route etwas sagen und zum Wetter. Und Ja, machen Sie sie jetzt erstmal bequem. Die letzten Koffer sind verladen. Wir können äh, direkt loslegen. Bis nachher. Nee. Alright, after a very warm welcome by today's cabin crew, I finally settled in at my seat 34F. So let's take a first look around. Turns out that Condor offers a decent legroom on their Boeing 757 fleet, in contrast to their Airbus A320 family fleet, which I certainly not expected. 
Moreover, the seat is equipped with a small storage net, as well as a foldable table and a magazine compartment. Of course, we will take a closer look at the magazines later on once we are airborne. As you can see, the view outside from my seat is fantastic and I have a great view of the flaps. But finally, let's take a quick look through this 3-3 configured full economy cab. Finally airborne and I would just like to say that taking off on board a um, Boeing 757 aircraft is always a highlight itself. It just feels amazing when the two powerful Rolls Royce engines are speeding up this flying pencil. Wow. <laughs> Alright, the in-flight server started about 30 minutes into the flight, which is really fast in my eyes. Um, however, I decided against buying something uh, today, as I am neither hungry nor thirsty, and I will honestly just um, yeah, try to get some sleep during the flight, as I uh, woke up insanely early, early this morning. But anyway, let's take a quick look inside the onboard menu and see what Condor has to offer on today's flight. Condor recently updated their onboard menu in order to react to the latest trends and customer wishes. For example, they introduced several vegetarian options and now also offer coffee, hot chocolate and caramel waffles from Starbucks. However, the meal deals and pre-order menus we all know and love remained on the menu. An onboard shop magazine can also be found in the seat pocket in front and I just love that Condor offers a nice variety of scale plane models for a fair price. A Boeing 757 model with the new livery is also available for just 11 euros. Finally, here is the safety card of today's Boeing 757-300 aircraft. Well, hello from the center laboratory of today's Boeing 757 aircraft. Um, I would just like to give you guys a quick heads up about today's flight. So far, I am really impressed by the cabin crew. They were really charming, as I already said, um, after boarding. I had a really warm and lovely welcome. They're also very nice to the kids sitting uh, sitting right next to me or around me. Furthermore, um, I'm quite satisfied with the onboard service as well. Of course, I didn't order anything today, but I do like the variety of Condor's onboard menu. Furthermore, the seat is all white, and the most important thing is that I simply love to be able um, to fly on board a Boeing 757, which is kind of rare these days. Um, Simply a lovely aircraft, really enjoying it. But anyway, let's take a quick look through the laboratory itself. As you can see, we have a standard wash cuisine right here. Um, well, kind of a mess over there, but at least there is um, hand sanitizer as well as normal soap coming out of the dispenser. Works perfect. I'm messing up everything as well. Um, 
little trash over there, big mirror as you've already seen before and there is also an infant table on the left wall. By the way, what do you guys think about my t-shirt? I bought this back in Bangkok some weeks ago and I really love it. Let's head back to the seat. Talking about the seat, it is equipped with a small armrest and a 50 shades of grey style leather cover. At least, it features a headrest cover with a nice yellow Condor logo. There is also some sort of an IFE controller next to the magazine compartment, which was unfortunately not working on today's flight. The passenger service unit above me features reading lights, fresh air nozzles and a cabin crew call button. Unfortunately, however, there are no power outlets installed at all, which would have been nice in my eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, your captain again with the latest weather report for Corfu. Corfu has uh, 35 degrees centigrade and light wind out of northerly directions. Uh, that means we will uh, land in the opposite direction, doing uh, right turns. Well, for now that's it. I hope you enjoyed the flight with Condor today and hope to see you soon on one of our Condor flights. And have a nice vacation, of course. Bye-bye. I hope you guys can still understand me. However, we are now on our short final approach into Corfu Airport. So let's double check that my uh, seatbelt is of course securely fastened for landing. The cabin has already been secured by the cabin crew. Gear is already down. Fastened seatbelt sign is switched on as well. So yeah, let's hope that we will have a nice landing in Corfu. Time to say goodbye to my seat 34F. Let's head outside. Soon enough, it was time for me to enjoy one last view of this beauty from the bus that will now take me to the terminal. So, thank you guys for coming along to today's trip report and stay tuned for the upcoming exciting videos of this Europe tour. Cheers! <laughs>